His body was found three days later, completely eroded. Join us next week as we're discussing the disappearance of Finnegan Montgomery, a renowned baker that went missing three years ago after attempting the dangerous task of finding a mysterious grain at the top of Wheat Peak. Many have attempted to find this grain, but none have lived to tell their story. We're going to Wheat Peak with investigator Jack Collins to get some answers. Make sure to follow us at Believe It or Not with Becca to hear our discoveries. Jack. Look, I know I told you you can come along for research purposes, but I'm not so sure about this whole radio business. No, this is podcasting. Look, I'm super excited. I was doing my research by myself, so I'm really looking forward to being a part of a live investigation. Well, whatever it is. Okay, just don't get too excited out there. All right, these are real people's lives we're dealing with, and most of them are on the tail end. Okay, so be ready for some blood, maybe some foul smells, betrayal. All right? Okay. All right, I'll see you out there. Okay, looking forward to it. Oh, you, that was rough. <laughs> he likes you. What's up with that guy? I mean, didn't you hire him to help? He's harmless. He's just really impassioned about this stuff, you know? Kind of weird. Kind of cute. <gasps> I can't believe we're going to the site of the disappearance. I mean, that's crazy. I know. You know, if we survive this thing, it's going to take our show to the top. You're right. Thanks so much for booking this job. I mean... I couldn't do it without you. Oh, well, they don't call me the best in the biz for nothing. Do they say that? They do, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you think we'll actually find this guy? Mm -hmm. Maybe. But hey, if Wheat Peak doesn't kill us, Jack might. <laughs> <laughs> I'm packing trail mix. OK. today with investigator Jack Collins and booking agent, producer, my best friend everybody, Audrey Barlow. Hey Pod! We're at the bottom of Wheat Peak, ready to get to the bottom of this case. Or the top. Yeah, yeah it's the top. So, Jack, sorry, so Jack, has uh, Finnegan been spotted since he disappeared? Has he been spotted since he disappeared? No. Yeah. He's disappeared. Okay, and turn that off. All right, I don't, I don't talk on record. Okay. Sorry. It's kind of nice. Yeah. So how'd you guys start this radio show? It's a podcast. Well, uh, Beck and I have been best friends forever, and we love true crime, so we decided to start a podcast together three years ago, and it's had great success. Originally, we were supposed to be co-hosts, but then Beck decided that. Yeah, she's so much better at the behind the scenes. <laughs> this is nice, working together. Yeah, no, I love it. I love being part of a team, especially with my best friend. You guys wanna head up? How much farther? Actually, just above that horizon right there, over that hill. You know, they actually say that the grains up there like mess with your mind a bit. Like what? Hallucinate or? Some say. I mean, something about the, uh, the grain itself and the refinement of how it grows, something sciencey like that. 
<laughs> okay. Let's keep going. We're making our way to the top of the peak. Wait, what is that? Is that a body? Wait, this must be Finnegan. Took you long enough? Oh. What's going on? Oh. I don't know. I'm not your co-host. Audrey. And as Becca took her final breath on top of Wheat Peak that day, she sat off and wandered why didn't I just listen to everybody else who told me not to come up here alone? She was killed by a crazed maniac that day. And her body was never found. It was the perfect crime. Anyways, that's all the time that we have for today. If you uh, like stories like this, uh, be sure to follow us on our social media pages under Believe It or Not with Audrey. Thank you so much to everybody who supports the pod and you guys truly are just some of my best friends. Have a great day. <laughs> <laughs>